All right, welcome back once more to the Martial Limit Association uh, video YouTube channel. Uh, thanks for coming to check us out. If this is your first time, uh, please give us a look. If you're coming back, thanks again for coming to see us again. And so today what we have is what we call the Huba video or the Huba transition video. So we're going to show you several different drills in the Huba series, as well as transitions and how to get to and from the right and the left side. So I got my man Tifu Edstall here, he's going to help me out. He's uh, my JKD instructor, and we're going to kind of run you guys through these. Hopefully you like it, get something out of it, and then make sure you rep them out. All right, see you in the video. All right, so as promised, we're going to go ahead and throw in some, um, some hoopa drills for you. So we're going to go ahead and go through some variables. Uh, we're going to start off with what we call the high line, or the upper area, and then we're going to move into uh, transition into a more of a straight area. So we're going to start off really simple with the high line area, so it's going to be really easy, kind of like a windmill. And so we're just going to kind of go, and we're just taking this by. This is called Pella Soot, or to let it go by. And now C2 Ed's going to take us into another variable, the same line, pump up by Was. So I stop and I roll. And I'll take you to the next one. So it's just C Gum. You just stop the energy. Okay? You're just blocking, like high blocking karate, in my opinion. And then we can take it back to any one of the variables. Just takes it by. Traditionally, I would call this like windmill hooba. It just kind of looks like a windmill. One thing I see that I don't want you guys to do at home is I don't want your, when we go back to standard, I don't want your time to be so broken where it's like this and then there's a long gap. I would like it to be kind of equals so it's kind of flowy. Otherwise, it doesn't fit. And we're going to jump into what we call high line hooba, okay? And so we stop the energy, bring it around, track, and then I chop, okay? And this is just the framework, or the high line hoopa by itself, okay? And we have a couple ways to switch this from right to left. Notice right now he's attacking on his right, and I'm attacking on my right. That's my right hand with the fancy hand brace. So what I'll do is I'll stop it, I'll grab this, I'll flip it over, and I'll chop with my left which forces him to switch sides. And now we train the other side of the body. Now I'm attacking with my left, I'm blocking with my right. So we get to learn both sides of this drill. And I'll put us back. So right here, I bring it, I flip it over, and I just attack on my own. So I'm creating the transition, okay? Another way to transition in high line, is as soon as he makes his defense, I shoot my X under his X, I clear the line, and I trap. Or I mean I attack. So I make sure I trap right there, and I pull it across, and I get that trap there, and now I attack. And that put me back on the main side. And again, if I wanted, I could go right back to the previous one, and then you could take it right back to here. And now Ed's going to take us into straight hoover. Okay, so from here, what you want to do is you pull back, fire the hand, and you parry. Parry, bridge, pop. I equate it to JKD. I parry, I make a bridge, and I pop. Parry, bridge, pop, punch. Ed has much nicer hair than I do, and when I teach this to my students, what I say is to style their hair to help them out so they get this kind of motion where they don't push down and be down here. It's all up in the face. I like this drill because it creates what we call controlled chaos. There's a lot of stuff happening in front of your face and you're not backing up. So you just get used to this and our eyes are open. We're not like <laughs> doing that, okay? So that's your uh, straight hoopa. Now in straight hoopa, we have transitions from right to left as well. So as we're here, you want the first one? Sure. The first one, um, again, I'm going to use uh, JJD terms is the, the hun sao, where when he punches, I scoop and fire my own, and then now we're on the other side. I guess this would be the punch hula. Yep. So again, when he punches, I scoop and punch. Now I'll do it a couple times in flight. Stay connected. 
He doesn't flick or wash lick my hand away or lose connection. Actually, when he pod lead blitz, I stay linked. So otherwise, I, I get punched in the face. Okay, another one we can go ahead and do is we call a pass check change. So I pass that energy, I check that second hand, and now I punch. And he's forced to switch to the other side because I have that hand checked. So as I go, I pass, I check, and then I change. And I actually say it in flight. I'll go like, pass, check, change. <laughs> Helps me remember when I train it. Pass, check, change. Okay. And then another one you can play with, one of my all-time favorites, is we call it back fist destruction change. So what's going to happen is I'm going to stop the energy. I'm going to come with a back fist at his face. Okay? Uh, JK, you turn watch away, right? Sure. I'm going to wedge. I slap. And now I punch on the other side. It's probably the most complicated transition I know, but it's also my favorite. Because there's a lot of forward energy, a lot of kind of feeling. And it's a lot of fun. So I'll slow it down again. Stop it. Back fist him in the face. He should block himself. Okay? From there, I wedge. Remember, this is a beauty to the eyes. Trap and then punch. And again, if I want to take this back to the earlier ones, we could go back or we can go back. And we can go back to any version we want. So when you're training your, your hoobas, it should go back and forth. You should be able to kind of play and not have to worry about. Oh, is it right or left? Is it left or right? Is it high or low? It's just whatever you want. Cool. So there you have a couple of different hoover transitions. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to kind of play and then kind of flow. Uh, part of hoover is just like in trapping, I believe, where the, you're trying to tie them up. Okay? So I'm trying to get them all discombobulated so we can't fight back. And Ed's more of a master at that than I am for sure. But Huba is, is in Filipino martial arts just like it's in JKD. We do it in both arts, so I kind of know it from both sides. Um, so we're just going to play, and then we're going to let you kind of watch just how this kind of unfolds. And we're going to see if we can get him tied up to where we can score a strike. And then we'll go from there. Be nice. Oh, that's right. <laughs>
and this stuff. Uh, <laughs> so there you have a few of the drills in the uh, the JKD Huba series, the transition drills. And uh, we also, like I said, we use these in Filipino martial arts, which is where I get more of my trapping, and then I'm learning from him on the, uh, the JKD trapping. Any closing statements? No, this is an awesome coordination drill. You get a lot of, a lot of reps really, really fast. That's why I really like it. Yeah. All right, time for the question of the day. What does huba mean? Do you know? I do know that one. I, I'm glad. I, I don't. <laughs> All right, and again, once again, thank you for getting all the way to the end of the video. We do appreciate it. If you're getting value from these things, please smash that subscribe button. It really helps out our channel. Also, if you, uh, if you like this stuff, please share it with your family and friends. Let them know uh, where you're getting some of your cool ideas, and maybe they know what it means. I don't know, maybe. Um, other than that, please uh, also, if you like the video, please hit that like button. Again, thanks for watching. Until next time, we'll see, we'll see you around.